So the TV I just got done repairing is a Vizio VW42L FHD TV 10A. Now surprisingly, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen the same exact model come in here with a slightly different design. This particular one only has one inverter board, where the other one I worked on had, uh, I believe it was a master and a slave inverter board on it. So maybe it has to do with the year of manufacture. In this case, it was made in May of 2008. Anyway, this TV came in here dead. Uh, no backlight and no sound. I did get the logo lighting up on the bottom of the bevel under the display that said Vizio. It lit up yellow. And I could get it to come on white if I went into a service procedure by holding the power button on while plugging it in. But I still couldn't get the backlight to come on. So the first thing I did was I checked my 24 volt line coming from my power supply to my inverter board and it was there. And I sort of jumped the gun and I assumed, oh, probably a bad inverter, I'll just go ahead and pick one up on eBay. Found one for 30 bucks. And uh, before the board came I started to think about this TV again. I thought, you know, I didn't really take the time to double check the turn on voltage coming from the main board feeding the, the inverter. As a lot of you know, you have to have uh, a turn on voltage from the main board going to this inverter telling it to come on before it will recognize the fact that it's getting uh, power from the uh, power supply. Anyway, I decided to look over the main board and happened to find a couple bad capacitors. That's all it was. Uh, in this case, you can't hardly tell they're bad looking at them. They're just barely bulged on there. And in fact, my meter, my ESR meter, wasn't able to detect there was any problem because there were other components in parallel with the capacitors that gave me a false reading. So in this case, I had to unsolder them, even though I have this nice capacitor checker. That doesn't happen too often, but every once in a while you will have to unsolder one just to make sure, especially if you have two capacitors in parallel, that'll trick you. So anyway, another TV repaired. Uh, you might want to take note of where the capacitors are. In this case, the, the location numbers were CE13 and CE17. Both were 470 microfarad at 25 volts. And, uh, well, just for reference, you can look at the board here. These are the two I replaced on the main board. A little time-consuming to get all the screws out of the shielding on this thing, but there they are. So if you have this particular model, you never know, it might be your problem. I should say, though, this, this particular model, I noticed when I looked in Mike's TV case histories, this particular model had a lot of possible problems on the main board. So if you're at all interested in this profession, you might want to check into Mike's TV case histories. They've come in handy on numerous occasions for me. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up.